Okay, I think we are about ready to go. Let's see, phone's going, laptop's going. Let me double check my volume, there we go. Uh, let's see, about there, down there, and okay. Move that up, and what do you mean it's not working? Uh, great. Controller probably got disconnected or something. Give me a second. Let's see. There we go. Okay. Controller must have got disconnected or something. Alright. Last time we beat two chapters. Uh, chapter 12 and 13. Now we're on chapter 14. We haven't done this at all. So let's get started. Oh, I might as well pull up the shards now if I... The surprising truth from Zane was a shock to Mark. Tiki was created as the daughter of the divine dragon king Naga, and slept in the temple because of the king's will. The king's fear of Tiki's power was that of a loving father. If Tiki was to awaken her tremendous power, would eventually cause the destruction of the world. That is what the Divine Dragon King feared. However, Bantu, the king's servant, became attached to Tiki after watching over her for a period of hundreds of years. He awoke her from her sleep and took her away, so Tiki only had ten human years, years worth of memory. Okay. Ten human years worth of memory. Okay. That is so sad, Tiki. Wait. That is so sad, Tiki. Marth was too bewildered to think. Okay. I recognize this map. Thanks to Fire Emblem Engage. Let's take a look around. There's something there. There's no way there's nothing there. Let's see. Oh, these must open up or something. And look at all these thieves. There's no way there's no treasure. With all the ice dragons here, we're gonna need lint. As well. Honestly, that spot looks suspicious, but there's no center spot, so. Oh, wait, is there something out here? You would have to be able to warp, and I don't have warp. Oh, is there something here or something? Weird. Okay. But yeah, I recognize this map. So, we are on the inside. Uh, no horses. Who has what? I still need to work on Sheeta. Navar has five more levels. Fina's here. I think Lind is gonna get a lot of priority. Lind is gonna get a lot of priority. We need to take down those mages. Or those dragons since she's our best shot I don't know if we need to take a particular unit um okay, okay. but I do know this we're gonna need a hammer to re uh, heal up aura again 
may need another one of these, but I'm not sure yet. Ooh, do I wanna... Yeah, I might need that. Oh, Melissa's almost capped. She's almost capped. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna need... Well, she'll get one more level. Which will take one more heal to do. So we could easily... We could easily land for that. Uh, Marth. We'll keep the Worm Slayer. Navar, you'll keep your Worm Slayer. Let's throw... The Hero's Crest in storage. The Boots... The Boots will go to... I'll hang on to them, but let's grab Guiding Ring. Yeah, we'll grab the Guiding Ring. Um, Julian's holding Physic. Okay, that's right. Okay. That will probably eat that'll probably go to Melissa. And Lind is gonna need the next one. Let's see how this goes. I really need to try to give Drop one more level, but this isn't the spot to do it. This isn't a good spot for him. Let's just let's just go. Ice Dragon Shrine, Henri's final destination. Yes, it was he it was here that Henri obtained the Foul Shield, which he used to defeat Medeus with. Then, encouraged by the citizens of Altia, he became the first king. Or their first king. But in the end, he wasn't able to be with Artemis. Why? Why, why weren't they? Why weren't they loving together? The nobles of Arcanea didn't want Henri, a former peasant, to become their own king. Instead, they encouraged the princess to marry the leader of the Liberation Army, Duke Cartas. Princess Artemis was unable to refuse. The bearer of the Fire Emblem must give their life to the royal family. That is a saying passed down unchangingly by the Arcanean royal family. The princess didn't tell Henri anything and accepted Car Cartes's engagement. How could she? That was unfair to Henri. What was worse was that the princess died immediately after giving birth to her newborn prince. Also, King Henri never married in his life. The kingdom of Altea was succeeded by his younger brother, King Marcellus. Or Marcellus? I'm not sure. That is to say, your highness's great-grandfather. Such a tragic tale. So that was Artemis' fate. Uh, all because of the curse of the fire emblem. Well, anyway, we got one thief here. I don't know where he's trying to go. He has a warp staff. And that's gonna be fun to use. We gotta get that. Lin's gonna hang around, take down these dragons. What about these things? Another guiding ring. Perfect. So the warp staff and the guiding ring. I don't know where there's. I don't know where these thieves are trying to go. Technically, these aren't doors, but I know they are. Okay, come on. I just need two more squares. Oh, I could have been on a horse. For that moment, since he's outside. Come on, Rudy. Attack of 20. Yeah, you got 
this. Unless you miss. Brody. You're better than that. Now you're definitely going to need another uh, dance. Just to catch up. Okay. Where's the one? There's the one. Okay. I definitely need to do something about these dragons. There's a lot of them. I think I should try to back out. Oh, wait. Zane's here. Wait, how many units do I have? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, that's right. It, I didn't take him by accident. He's just already here. Okay. I think it might be best to get some units out of the way. I think that will be for the best. We may try to use the the uh, archers. We'll see. How's it going? It's going okay, Hot Corn Dog. We just started this chapter. This chapter was obviously reused in Fire Emblem Engage, and we got a lot of ice dragons here. But would you look at this thief over here? Look at this. He has the warp staff. We finally have access to it. You know, after Rhodey does his job, anyway. Okay, so right now the plan is I'm having Lind go right here. And we're gonna definitely have to make sure to repair the aura. Oh, I could have given an elbow. Because as I get the staff. Exactly! We need that staff. Oh, it's gonna make this so much better. It definitely is. Oh, so, uh, by the way, over the weekend, uh, my neighborhood was is doing like a year, was doing like its yearly garage sale thing. And uh, there's like there was like over a hundred houses like selling stuff, right? Strength, speed, weapon level, defense. Is anyone else moving? The thieves are, but I don't know where they're trying to go. So anyway, I managed to find a few video games while I was there, while I was doing the the hunt, which is, you know, not common for for uh, garage sales. Anyway, I picked up a few things. Uh, fairly cheaply. Uh, Lego Star Wars Force Awakens. I bought it for like three bucks. I saved about like three to four bucks on that. I found two Naruto... The, the two Naruto Wii games. That's the one they I paid two bucks each. Two bucks each for both of them. Uh, I saved probably around eight bucks in total for those two. Uh, which that completes that set on the Wii. And, finally, God War 3. Granted, I only saved like a buck for this one, but... But hey, it was there. I thought the Ice Dragons were moved. Oh, that, that changes things. up here. Okay, I need to sit you here then. You don't need healing, and we can prepare aura later. And what is your range? Sorry, give me a sec. Well, I'm just going on the horse, because more range. But yeah, picked up God of War 3. Still don't have the first two. 
There was also one more thing I picked up. Uh, hold on, let me fight this guy very quick. There was also one more thing I picked up. I found Pokemon Leaf Green. I paid 15 bucks for it. And when I got home, I booted it up, and it works. I got the work stuff. It works, but then I checked uh, my GB operator. It's fake. It's a fake copy. So, no wonder why it was $15. Oh well. That's okay. I basically just paid $15 for a uh, rewritable cartridge with a fancy green plastic. Now that Rhodey's got that, I want to give the, kill the thief kills to some of my other units. That, that's ha that happened over the weekend. What happened? What'd you do over the weekend? Oh, dude, good. good. We dodged. Got the crit. Okay. That changes things. The thieves are just trying to leave. Okay. Okay, that one's attacking. Lind will survive this. I didn't really think the thief would attack. Team, skill, speed, defense, HP. No attack, but we'll take what we can get. Okay. Lind, you have four uses of aura, but you need to back out, and you need to get healed. Since you need healing, uh, we need, it was Cancer, Leo, and it was Libra? Ares is luck. Libra is speed. She just needs healing. That's all she needs at the moment. Let's go ahead and heal. And Melissa is now capped. Level 20, strength, speed, weapon level, defense. At least she got strength out of it. It's really important. Her weapon level is capped. Her luck is also close. So here's the plan. We're gonna give her the Guiding Ring now. And we're gonna give Lind this Guiding Ring. are going to be attacked twice. Um, I don't... Well, we're going to give this a go. Uh, for now... Okay, here's 
what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do a lot of weird trading right here. So, I'm gonna take all of this. And we're gonna trade to Navar. We're gonna give him all of the staves. Wait, then Navar is going to grab all of these. There we go. Pack of steel is equipped. Cheetah can only get attacked by one of them, I'm okay with this. I'll put Marth on the other side. Oh, if I moved her down here, she could... Oh. Uh, that probably would have been better. Nope, we can't have the horses on the stairs. We're not allowed to do that. Alright. I think this is the best I can hope for. Let's see if Cecile survives. Two thieves that won't be able to do anything. Two thieves are probably going to go after Cecile. If she could dodge one, I'd be happy. Cheetah's gonna fight this one. It's the last one that's probably gonna go after Cecile, and that's what I'm worried about. And I'm getting the prompt ready, because I can see it now. Unless she dodges. Come on, dodge. 45%! Damn. That didn't work out. Okay, that's a reset. So far, this chapter isn't the worst. But there's gotta be more to this chapter. So we already know about the warp staff and the guiding ring. You watch Deadpool and Wolverine. Sweet. I actually, even on Saturday, I actually watched it for the second time. Beat Elden Ring. Got a new controller since your PS5 controller got a bad stick trip. Ooh, I hate those. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to do all that either. I don't know why I brought I'm bringing Julian. Oh, wait. Uh, we can do some trading with Julian. Hold on. Uh, first of all, let's deposit the physic, because I don't think I'll use it. The killer bow. One's going to Ryan. And we are going to take Bulganon to Lint. And we'll swap it out with Blizzard. We're not going to need Blizzard. That will make a difference. Also, Warren is going to trade with, not Gordon, Caster. There we go. Okay. So tutorials, but it requires melting stuff and playing stuff that was beyond me. Yeah, sometimes you just kind of have to just be like, well, this is beyond my power. Uh, I need to leave it to the professionals, or just buy a new one. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have Rhodey go on his horse this time. And Fina's gonna dance Rhodey to the thief. Okay. 
Come on, Brody. Oh yeah, what'd you think of Deadpool and Wolverine? But you're, you're fine. We got the warp staff. We got nine dollar in service the stores provide. So we can get replacement bricks down again. Last two years, and you know it's not gonna last two years. Nah. Yeah. Julian, just head out of the way. Okay, so I think I wanna set my units up down here a little differently. First of all, let's just get Zani out of the way. One thing that might make a difference... We can do that. Warren, let's get you over here. Uh... Cecile? Do that. Bogma? Yeah, that's fine. Navar. Okay, you will eventually need to move behind Sheeta. Mark? Gambit was cool, movie was good. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's interesting to see Gambit come, uh, Chenny Tandon play Gambit. Because, uh, I think he, w what happened was he was supposed to get a Origins Gambit movie, but you know, Origins Wolverine bombed, because it wasn't a good film. Uh, so, yeah, Chatty Table was supposed to play Gambit in that movie, so it's a weird, uh, it's a very deep cut reference. Oh. If I use Bulganen, I can probably one hit KO these guys. Definitely save my aura uses, that's for sure. Am I getting my positioning right? Yeah, I am. If I do this... Yeah, it's one of those movies where... The more you think about the plot, the less it makes sense, but the movie is more really entertaining as is, that you don't really care. Ah, uh, yes, get that crit. 99 damage, and we know it did more than that. Level 17, strength, speed, weapon level, defense. It's too bad Lin doesn't have the HP to survive multiple dragon hits. Well, we gotta take what we can get. Actually, she got hit by a thief, not by a dragon. So, that wasn't the problem. Is there a way I can... No, I can't really fight... I can't really fight a thief and a dragon. Not really. I can play this carefully. Well, now that I know that the thieves are not gonna move... Or the dragons are not going to move unless I get in range. I can pre I, I can prepare for that. What's your range? You're either going to attack Mark or Sheeta. Okay. I'm going to put uh, Lind over here. I'm putting Melissa over here. Oh, I should have healed Rody. Oh well, we're fine. I want to wait anyway, because I want to trade over these to try to get one more strength boost. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Again, as an example, the whole anchor being as a plot point makes no sense when you really think about it. It's just, like... <laughs> so it's like, oh, the mo the universe, like, slowly erases itself when you lose this one person in that universe. But the character wasn't bo <laughs> Like, when you... 
what happened to the universe before the character was born in the first place. So, does it mean the universe started when that character was born in the f at all? Which makes no sense, because that Logan was, uh, continuity-wise, we already know thousands of years existed because of, uh, Apocalypse. Yeah, just a lot of it makes no sense. Uh, then there's, like, continuity errors with, like, the whole being a part of a different universe that you don't belong to, but yet yeah, it's okay. Uh, Logan can stay in a different universe and nothing bad is going to happen whatsoever. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. We are going to trade over this stuff. North. Twenty speed defense. Ah, oh, no strength. No strength. Might as well just trade everything back. Let's just try it. Marth could get attacked twice. Okay, so Seal's getting attacked. But at least she's only getting attacked once. We got a crit. Alright. Getting attacked. I think he would survive another hit. Okay. Oh, good, he dodged. Defense, HP, and gold. Well, Marth leveled up. No strength, but he leveled up. But he got speed, so that's something. Okay. Two more thieves. We can't attack one from range. Actually, we can attack them all from range. Ryan, if we were to attack you with... Let's just start with the iron bow. Attack of 24, attack speed of 9. 20 damage, and we can double. So, I want to give Ryan EXP. He is not going to... Yeah, he is not going to uh, level up. That's fine. We'll let him have this. He just needs, like, three more levels. Just one point of strength off, and he would have won hit KO. Unless I use the steel. Well, we got the guiding ring. Uh, I guess I'll just go in the storage for now. Alright, I want to give Warren the other one. If I use the iron, X speed of 5, I do double. Or I could just... No, I still need... I still need the iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have seal... Trade over not weapons. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, Warren, your turn. Grab your KO. But yeah, 
Deku and Wolverine was clearly a love, le love letter to the Fox properties and the stuff that came before that wasn't Mar um, MCU related. Strength, weapon, level, HP. Good, good, good. It was just a fun film to watch. All right. Everything else is Lynn's. It's time for Lynn to do her thing. She's at full health. I want to make sure to get rid of these guys like one at a time. Go here. Dance. And Lind is gonna go on a. gonna go mad with power. Okay. Lind, right here. Alright, Marth. Trade over. Let's just uh, trade over this for now for the guiding ring. We're gonna bring Melissa a little closer, and it's time to promote. There we go. We got our first bishop. That's not a pre-promote like Wendell. Strength by two, skill, speed by two, defense by one, resist by two, uh, one more movement. I don't know about you, but I think I like to have my uh, cleric to have more movement. I think it's more of a meta thing. Right. It, well, exactly. Six Fox, and that's saying we're basically gone. That did work. Logan was more like the last dude that made it. That is definitely true. No, I definitely see it more as a meta thing. I, hell, I see the whole TVA as like an allegory for uh, Disney at the moment. Or at least that version of the TVA. Because he's like... He's like, the higher-ups want you to have a purpose, but I don't agree with that. They want... AKA, they wanted Fantastic Four. They wanted... Uh, they, they wanted X-Men. But they got Deadpool as well, so they didn't really care. They just kind of got him with the package. There's all, the whole anchor beam. Hmm. The universe slowly dies as soon as like your core character uh, gets killed. It's almost like that's an allegory for Tony Stark at Endgame. The MCU movies have been more and more bad as the, as time goes on after Endgame. Again, I, I almost see it as an allegory for the MCU in general. Okay, time to dismount. The MC, the Marvel Cinematic Universe's anchor beam was Tony Stark, and as soon as he died, the movies have slowly gone to shit, aka slowly dying. Hold on a second. If we have Zane transform into Fine, we're not going to be able to dance someone else again, are we? I have to know. Wait, level 7. Hold on a minute. Oh, you changed your level too. I didn't catch that. That's interesting. Huh. How? How is that? One? But anyway, I, there's something I want to check out with Zane after, after this. So, okay, so all that's left is the ice dragons. Uh, the question is, are there more? Probably is. Didn't realize I was in range of two. Good, I dodged. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm in range of three. That was a mistake. 
I didn't. I put wind in the wrong spot. Strength, skill, speed, weapon level, defense. Come on, Lind, you gotta dodge one more. Good, good. I lucked out there. That was my mistake. But I made it work, don't worry. I made it work. Or I should say I got very lucky. Okay. So... Yeah, it doesn't look like you dance. I just figured I'd check. Uh, I want to grab... I want to grab the Guiding Ring out of storage. Okay, where is it? There we go. Then we trade over here. The Guiding Ring. And I go over here. Trade... Oh! We don't need to trade the Guiding Ring just yet. I'm just gonna heal. We're eventually gonna need to get Melissa some weapons for herself so she can defend herself. Actually, we could probably take him off you, Bello. We could probably take him off you, Bello. Alright. So... I gotta be careful... Is there, like, a spot where I can hit one, but... If I want to play it safe, I need Lin to move farther up. Okay. Seeing Xavier's sister was pretty cool. Is she in the comics at all? Is that a comic thing? Or did they make it up? And if she is a comic thing, is she more than just, like, a, a one-off gimmick comic? Okay, so... So it is a comic character. Uh... Everyone else... Okay, Sonny doesn't need to stay here. Seal needs to dismount. So, yeah, these two need healing. Lind is going to handle these dragons. Other than that, I don't know what else is going to happen. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear one out right now. I need Lind to move one square forward. Okay. Guiding ring. Currently. I'm just gonna slowly bring uh, units closer. Something like this will work out fine. I know. Obviously, there's something going on with these rooms. We probably just need to stand in front. I may have Ogma do that, because he is, uh, he's very tanky. Let's see what the danger is. Everyone form single file. Everyone form a line. Lind takes out these Durgans. Okay, yeah, she needs healing again. Yes, hold it on. One hit KO these ice dragons. Level 19, strength, skill, speed, defense. Now we're gonna get some good stats. What do we got? Strength of 11. Wow, it's almost like my mage is actually able to do something. And look, she is one point away from capping out her speed. 
My age, my mage can actually do something. She kind of struggled to do that in uh, the first one. We healed 19. Uh, you need like one more point in strength to match a mend. Well, she, uh, Lind can survive. Lind can survive another hit. So... Right, Marth. We're gonna go here. Let's trade over... must stand in front of this wall. Only then will the door open. Well, thanks for telling me, Goto. I will not stand in front of that door, though. I'm gonna stand in front of this door and see what happens. And I don't know if it has to be Marth or if it's anyone else. But for right now, I'm just making sure everyone gets a little bit farther up. I wanna make sure Ogma is the one that gets closer. level defense. Ah, okay. Uh, another thing I didn't really care about Deadpool Wolverine is, like, I didn't really like how they... Because, like, so many, like, movies and shows do this. They basically break up Ryan Reynolds and with his girlfriend. Or, you know, Deb... Uh, they had... Deadpool break up with his girlfriend, so they have to get back together at the end. I mean, it wasn't a main story thing, but, like, it's lame. I hate it when they do that. We can't just have... Because, like, at the end of Deadpool 2, they were trying to have a kid. But it's like, no, we're, we're just not doing that. They broke up. In between movies. Because Ryan's depressed. It's like, come on. I know so many movies and films do that. It gets annoying after a while. Okay, so... I need to use a mend. Yeah, I have to use mend this time. If I man if I was able to heal 20 health, I would have just needed the heal. But no, I need mend. Okay, Lind. Let's go ahead and uh you need to go right here. Yep. Alright. I want Ogma to head this way. Fina is also going to head that way. Man, I could I could be doing more. Oh well. We're probably gonna set things up to where uh we have maybe like Martha Warren. No, we have Marth here. We just have someone standing right there for movement. And then we get Agma to stand here specifically. And that's kind of the idea right now. Maybe I should get Ryan over there. I should probably get Ryan. He is so close. He needs like three more levels. Maybe I should get Navarro over there, too. Okay, well, this side is cleared out of Ice Dragons. There we go. Perfect. Level 
Level 20. Skill, speed, weapon level, HP. Too bad she didn't get any strength. But if you look at that, she is capped right now. She's capped on speed, luck, and weapon level. She needs strength, though. She was part of the storyline. I don't know if I'm sure if she was forgotten or Xavier. For purposes, we got rid of her. Oh, so she was... So it sounds like she was basically a one-off story character sort of thing. Libra boost speed. Okay, so Linda doesn't need Libra anymore since she's capped. Okay, first, I need to go over here. I need to trade this out. Yeah, I don't need Libra. We're gonna use the promotion. Kind of checked out of X Men since. Since they had that, <laughs> they have their own island now. Okay. Strength plus two, skill, defense, and resi resistance plus three. Holy shit! Look at this. Look at this. Lind, you need a lot of strength, but you don't need much else. She needs strength. And she could use defense and resistance, but, like, she's doing really good. Can we give her... Can we give her, like, a, another strength boosting run? Or do we want to... Hold on. Uh, which one's good for strength? Scorpio? Scorpio's 20. Aquarius is 10. I'm thinking we'll... Yeah, okay, we'll pass off Gemini. We'll trade Gemini over. There we go. This way she really tries to boost the attack. But after a while, we're gonna have to prioritize, like, defensive resistance. Okay. I want... Melissa... Go... Which one does she have? She has Libra, and that's speed. Ryan's level 17. Yeah, I, I think I want to prioritize Ryan at the moment, so... Out of the archers, anyway. So we're gonna do this. Okay. We're gonna have you go over here. Do I give her the boots? I kind of like my healers having a lot of movement. Yeah, you know what? We'll basically repeat it. But first, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and heal Mark. There is something I, I want to check very quick. Is there a secret shop on this chapter or something? Is there something hidden here for all? Yeah. Uh, I could dance Lind. Work on a dragon. Uh, Marth. I just want you close. Mavar? You head this way. Actually, you know what? We'll dance Ryan. Have him instead start heading to the right. Again, we are going to the center one later. Yeah, we're gonna trade all of these over to Ryan. Um, man, Sheeta, like you, you could use some training. Some units really are uh, far behind on levels. Not counting Julian, I don't, I don't really care. Julian's on air just kind of here. Alright. 
but it, it sounds like Xavier's sister was a one-off type of storyline. That's what at least you're making it sound like. But maybe that's just something I need to look into. That I will never look into, but I keep saying I need to look into. Alright, Lynn. How far do we need to go? give you the... There's the warp staff. We pro I don't think I'll use it this chapter. But we have it. That's all that matters. We have the warp staff. It's great. We're gonna have fun in the next few chapters. We have seven uses of it. We can mess around with that. I guess I'll just start healing. We can give Linda heal staff now. If we want. That way she can get EXP passively. Cecile, you need healing as well. Alright. Uh, Agma... Set you like, here for now. Bar, go here. All right. Again, I'm not sure how this door works. Yeah, get that crit, Lind. Your attack of 61. It's ridiculous. I'll move Ogma next turn. Because if the door opens up immediately, I want to make sure they have the ability to move. Depot in the comics is currently boring. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's kind of annoying. I also hear that, uh, it, later on in the year, I think in, like, November, they're doing, like, a, a new comic run, I guess, where... They're killing off Deadpool, and he's replaced with his dog? I hear, like, that's happening in, like, November or so. You know, around the time when Deadpool and Wolverine will probably be out on Blu-ray. Because that's smart. And, like, Marvel and, I believe, DC have been having this stupid problem for a long time now. Why how the one, it's like, One Piece did something, the One Piece live action did something right versus the, like, all of Marvel MCU. Every time, from what I understand, there's a, there's a uh, Marvel, a, a new Marvel movie. It gets interest to the, that particular Marvel character, so then people want to go and see what's going on in the comics. Then they go to their comic shop and look at the comics and they see... Oh, it's not Tony Stark, it's Riri R Williams, even though they wanted Tony Stark. Oh, it's not Thor, it's Jane Foster as Thor. Oh, it's... Spider-Man's not around anymore, it's currently Miles Morales. Too bad if you wanted these characters that you just went to a movie to see, you have to have these uh, secondary characters that you didn't want. 
And if you want the characters that you liked, you have to go with back issues. Because that's a smart idea. Okay, it, must, it might need to be more. I wasn't sure if it had to be more or not. Um, I think we're good on healing. Yeah, we'll, we're fine. Whereas, One Piece doesn't have that problem. When the live-action, uh adaptation of one piece came out you know what happened people got interested and one piece manga went up like the first like there was the one piece has like the three and one and that went up as well when the live action came out because oh my god people are interested <laughs> so if what i if what i've heard is true and in November, they're basically going to kill off Deadpool and replace him with his daughter. Is it only... might only be in this one. And if they actually are doing that, maybe it is the second one. If they actually are doing that, that's just bad marketing. Granted, if the... As of right now, when the movie came out in theaters, you could buy a Deadpool comic, but if what you say is true, it's just really boring right now. And that's a different issue. Go ahead and move Ryan. Alright. Yeah, I wanted to get him a little bit closer. I guess we have to go into the center. Lind has taken out all the dragons, as far as I'm aware. There might be more. Alright, we're heading to the center. It seems like Marth has to be the one to do it. But we'll try Ogma. I better make sure Lind heads this way as well. Okay. So yeah, how much strength are you at? You're, you're at nine, you didn't get like any strength boost. Or if you did, you only got like one or two. Yeah, we gotta get, we, we still gotta get you a lot of strength. For healing. Okay. Again. I want to make sure my units are in the right spots. I'd rather have something like this. Let's get you up here. I'm going to try to have Ogma open the door. I don't know if it has to be Marth. It sounds like it needs to be Marth. I could dance Akma if I need to. Okay. There we go. Prince Marth, so you finally came. I should have expected nothing less from the one who possesses the heroic bloodline of Omni. To reward your courage, I will hand the Light Sphere to. Wait. Hold on a minute. He possesses the heroic blood, blood brine of Henri, but Henri never married, right? Wait a minute. At the beginning, 
the lore of Henri said he wanted to marry Princess, uh, he wanted to marry the princess. I forget her name already, damn it. She couldn't, she needed, because he, Henri was a peasant, he married a, uh, Contras or whatever. She gave birth and then died. How, how is Mark the descendant of Henri? Because I think they said that Henri never married after. I mean, theoretically he could have had a kid, but we don't. Huh. Is that, is that a retcon? Or, not a retcon, is that a plot hole? Or is it doing the whole Link thing? Where it's like a reincarnation of Henri. Every once in a while. To reward your courage, I will hand the Light Sphere to you. With this, the Dark Sphere will lose its power, and it will no longer be impossible to fight hard in. Also about the Star Sphere shards. What? You found all the shards? Thank you! Then the Star Sphere can be restored. Please wait a moment. Martha, this is the Star Sphere. You can take it with you as well. We lost it all. Huh? Goto, why are you giving such an important item to me? The only person that can restore the Binding Shield is you. The shield itself has chosen you. You still don't understand? The emblem shield you're carrying is the stolen binding shield. Who would have guessed? To be honest, it was only recently that I noticed. Its exterior had completely changed. What? After stealing it from the Fane of Ramon, the thief removed its jewels and sold them off as treasures. The money was used to fund an army, which, along with three stolen weapons, was used to conquer the world. The thief that went on to become the king of Arcanea had the shield, which brought him so such good fortune, to become the emblem of his royal family. Now do you understand? Martha, it, it is what you are carrying. Arcanea's fire. What? The first king of Arcanea was originally a thief? Is that true? In that case, I can kind of understand the curse of the fire alone. Then, Goto, if I could collect all five spheres, can I restore the binding shield? But please hurry up. The shield has already been broken for 600 years. It is almost time for the earth dragons sealed underneath Medon to awaken from their slumber. Exactly 600 years? Okay, whatever. Those evil earth dragons number several hundreds, no, several thousands. Once they awaken, there will be nothing that we can do. I will leave Tiki in your care. You can find her in the room to the right. That divine dragon child should be able to help you battle the earth dragons. But I will state clearly, if the binding shield is not restored, Tiki will be... Tiki will be destroyed. Huh? Why is that? That child is still developing. Without the binding shield, she will begin to de degenerate. Eventually, she will become wild and attack humans. I made her sleep. Because I felt sad for her. But if the binding shield is restored, I will no longer have to worry, because the shield will protect Tiki. Marth, please take care of Tiki. You must rescue that child from the path of ruin. We got the light sphere, and we got the star sphere. Does that mean we lost all the shards? I knew this was gonna happen. I knew this was gonna happen. We can't modify our growths. I guess that's the balance, isn't it? Uh, keep in mind that it was in the comics. Defense isn't a good one. They usually change something in the comics to help match up a movie that just came out. It's about to come out. The Jane Foster sword happened in 2014 the comics. Yeah, I know. She wasn't... Granted, in that case, that was... I don't know what they were thinking at the time. However... She didn't happen in the movies until the last couple years in four, in Thor four. Uh, but that's there's still the problem of 
2014 was like... It wasn't Thor Ragnarok. It was one of the... It was probably an Avenger movie or something. But people wanted to read a Thor comic because they're now interested or whatever. They don't have Thor. They have Jane, Thos Jane Foster. You see the problem. Um, okay. So Tiki's to the right. But I want to go to the left. We lost all of the star shards because we needed the star sphere. That sucks. I mean, I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when. And you know, thinking about it, when we had the first arena, well, maybe not the first arena, but the first arena since we got some shards. Oh, we got a Sword Slayer. The first arena since we got, like, a few shards, uh, we only had about, like, three of them, right? And it wasn't that much of a variety. But now, in... So I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind getting to another arena, right? And so far, we haven't ran, run into another arena since then. And at the moment, if there is another arena, it's after. After we lo lose all the shards. There's something I want to check. There is a secret shop here. There is a secret shop somewhere in this chapter. I just don't know where. Could be right in here. I have a feeling that uh, door will open up. I might look up where the secret shop is. It wasn't there. Wasn't it like over here or something? I'm remembering the map from Engage, and wasn't there like a hidden item somewhere over here? Yeah, I might, I might pull it up. So yeah, we lost the ability to use the shards and modify our gross. That's the balancing act, isn't it? Try to get as many levels as you can while you have the shards. Unlike Thracia, where once you get a scroll, you have it. You know? It does take a while for a movie to happen, that's for sure. Takes a few years. In here. I don't know what's behind here. The movie is still being teased and hasn't even moved since it's being written. Yeah, because it's constant. I think it's in constant, uh, being constantly rewritten as well. Is there nothing over here? Or can we just not access this yet? Okay, we're going to the right. I guess we gotta go recruit Tiki. Yeah, I, I think Blade is just getting rewrites as well. Because there was talk that they were not gonna have Blade be the main character. It's like, uh... I think they were going to just have three women basically replace Blade or something like that. Yeah, th there's a lot of stuff going on with that Blade movie. I don't know. I don't remember what's going on. I don't remember what's going on. It's been a while. But I, I remember it had issues like that. Do you think that's why he said in the movie there, there can, there's only going to be one blade? Again, it's been a while since I heard what went on with that script.
Yeah, it's just something I heard a while back, like a couple weeks ago, that uh, I think someone said like on Twitter or something that in November we're doing like a Deadpool run where Deadpool's dead and it's his daughter taking over or something like that. But if something like that happened. Secret Empire. He isn't in good terms with her. Hmm. Yeah. It's just stuff I, I, I've been hearing here and there. I don't remember the full details. Okay, I didn't realize these doors had to be open in a specific order. I didn't realize that. wasting a few turns just by doing it this way, but I also don't know what's fully behind every door. Okay, it's just Tiki. Tiki! Are you alright? Huh? Tiki, it's me, Marth! Hey, open your eyes! Marth? Oh, Marth, you came! You came to see Tiki! Yes, I hadn't seen Tiki in a long time. Are you feeling well? Why... Why is he speak- Okay, Tiki speaking in third person is one thing, but how come Martha's like, I haven't seen Tiki in a long time? Not, I haven't seen you in a long time. <sighs> Whatever. Uh, no, the bishop told me that I had to sleep again. But I don't want to, because when I sleep, I'm always alone. During my sleep, I dreamt many nightmares. There, I will become a wild dragon, like those poor fire dragons and ice dragons. I attacked humans, and I killed them. No, no. When I awoke, I was alone in, in the dark room. I felt so strange, but also very scared. So very scared. But I can't leave that room. I cried many times. And then Uncle Bantu would come to comfort me as usual. One day, he took me away and took me into took me to a human village. Living in that village was very fun, and everybody treated me well. In the in the short time until I was discovered by Garna, I felt very happy. I don't want to sleep anymore. I feel that if I close my eyes once more, I'll be unable to open them ever again. I don't want that. I want to live with everyone. I don't want to sleep again. Tiki, it's all right now. I'll protect you, so don't cry. Really? I won't need to see those scary dreams again? That's right. Once the shield is restored, Tiki can live together with the rest of us. Again, Marth, why are you speak? Okay, whatever. Don't worry. Believe in me. It must be intentional. Right? It must be intentional. Uh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Marth. And we have Tiki. She'll probably be in the main team. She was useful. Now we just need to move back to the left door? I guess. I don't know what's behind the left door. And you know what? Since we're at this point, I'm gonna figure out where the... Where the, uh... See your shop is.
I know we gotta seize the chapter, seize the throne. That's normally always the case. So I gotta be careful. So hopefully it's not like when I open the door, uh, I have to... It's not like when I open the door, I'm gonna have to just uh, end the chapter right away. It's always seize the throne. It is, okay, so it's where I kind of think it is. That's good to know. Yeah. Secret shop. It's like right in here. Melissa. Let's find that secret shop. Hold on, let me double check. You do have the VIP card. I still don't have the silver card. Let's take a look. I don't know what's in the shop. Level two, skill, weapon. Julian! That's right. Are you here? Or is this new mystery? Oh, did I mess up? You have the VIP card. There's a secret shop here. Right? Oh, it's right here on the crack. Okay, whatever. Alright, we found... Firestone, Flying Stone, Ice Stone, and Mage Stone. Okay. I can't buy any of this. So if you really want to use Tiki, you can buy a Flying or an Ice Stone. Let's be honest here. You probably don't need another Mage Stone. And technically I have a full Fire Stone, plus I could take from Bantu. Well, I can't buy them. There's nothing I can do about that, but we found it. That's all that matters. I'm on Marth. I keep moving. I guess it doesn't matter if Ryan's the one that fights. Just look at that. He can't. He doesn't have the shards anymore. It's probably just the throne behind the door. Alright. We're just gonna keep moving. Back to the other side. Well, at least I don't have to worry about trading for... Uh... At least I do not have to worry about trading, like, shards over to try to maximize stats and everything. Now it's whatever I get is just what it is. That's just all that matters. That's your range. So if I have Marth go right here... Dance... She has mutant powers not similar to Deadpool. So, what, she has the regen factor or something? Marth, okay. open the door. What's behind here? Hey, look, it's thrown in two chests. Okay, well, good to know that once you clear out the main hall, there's nothing left. 
I ever play this game again, I'll know that in the future. Uh, I can set Marth, like, right here. Time to open a few treasure chests. And we'll finish this chapter. So what, I only died once? Yeah, only one death. Alright, behind- in this treasure chest we get... The again staff? Is that basically like a dance? But in staff form? She has reincarnation. Basically when she gains her mutant powers, she still ages. And whatnot. But when she dies in any form, she comes back to life. But at the point she got her powers, 16. Oh. That's... Okay. So kind of like Deadpool's shield just never died. Except that they're killing off Deadpool, so I guess you know, Deadpool can die. Uh, oh, weapon level 20. Heals all allies and can move again. That's what it is. I was told that there's one that needs to be a weapon level 20. This is it. Seems like anyone, any staff user can use it. So it's a full... I don't know if it's a full heal, but it's a heal. Heals everyone and it makes everyone move again. That's that could be abused. That could totally be abused. And look who has weapon level 20. Yeah, Deadpool works by constantly dying, but he's not dying. Yeah, he his healing factor is just that strong. Like, whenever he gets, like, a fatal blow or something, his healing factor just makes him live. Is that so? So Tiki was that happy? It must have been hard for her living like that. Although it was to protect that child, I did many bad things. She must hate me. Marth, you may leave. I will use my magic to send you to Altea instantly. Goto, aren't you coming along with us? Oh, I have something to investigate right now. You, sh you see, Garneth has already begun to act. G Garneth? But isn't he dead? Yes, his body was destroyed, but his vile spirit lives on in the dark sphere. Oh, okay. He also has a. He has also awakened the evil priests that served him, and they appear to be planning something terrible. Really? I see, Goto. Well, we'll move out then. Once I find anything, I'll contact you immediately. Good luck, Mark. Everything is in your hands. Please what, rescue dragons and humans from the path to ruin you. Well, that's chapter 14 done. Time to move on. Warped to Altea. Or not? More than the others were transported to Altea's outskirts by Goto's magic. Oh! I thought this. It's the camera's focus here. I thought this is. I thought this is Arcanea. And this is Altea. Or Altea's like over here. Oh well. Okay. Uh, okay, just magic. They were ready to begin the battle to reclaim their homeland. The commander of Arcanea's army, General Ibo, had ordered the Gra knights to charge to buy time. At the same time, he prepared many dishonorable tactics and waited for the chance to defeat Altea's army in one swift before his fond homeland, Mars battle were about to begin once again. Mars battles were to begin once again. We will reclaim our capital of Henri. We will reclaim our homeland. Prince Mars' voice, Prince Mars' voice, resound, resounded through Altia's skies. They had traveled a difficult journey, but their 
destination was finally reached. Oh! Okay, yeah, this map. Redoing this map. And the music's changed! Okay, um, is this another we have to make a choice on the villages? Okay, how many can I take with me? Okay, first of all, we don't need these two. Uh, who else could I take with me? I think I'll take Tiki. We have an arena. I want to get Drog to level 10 to promote him. I may train up my weaker units as well. Hell, I might even take the opportunity to get, like, Ryan and Warren from... Ryan Ro Warden and uh, uh, Navarre promoted as well. I may get Rhodey, Cecile, and Sheeta... I don't know if they'll be promoted, but I'll try to give them a lot of the XP. I'm not fully sure how I want to handle this. Okay, first of all... I want to go to you fellow. I tried using you, it's just not going to work out. So we do this. I want... Lind. You can deposit that. Trade over who has... There we go. Oh, um... another thunder for you. But other than that... Oh no, there is one in here. Oh, Lint has it. Duh. Okay. We're gonna need a thunder for Mo uh, Melissa. A deposit. I think this is one of those cases where we just need to hold off. I don't think we need these at the moment. stats we get is what we get. Oh, um... Does someone else have an iron sword that I can trade over? Or iron spear. Yeah, you do. Wait. There we go. We make a save. Okay, what have we got? So if... Oh, we got some ballistas here. Thunderbolt. Okay, so a magic-based one. We got a sniper. Final boss in Elden Ring was easy? Really? That's kind of disappointing, isn't it? Rider's Bane. The bell has a silver lance. Hey, it's Abel! So we got, wait, do we need Kane? Do we need Kane? Oh no, is this something where we need Kane? You cheese the, you cheese him, okay. Physic, fortify. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see all this right here. There's Bane. The, oh, this may be a tough chapter. Silver, silver. Fire, javelin, steel. 
steel, javelin. How can we see? Oh, okay, I see. Swarm. Iron, just my iron sword. Silver sword. Silver sword. Rapier. That's not a big deal. Javelin. Wizard. Okay. So when it comes to... Uh, things to keep tr track of. We gotta somehow get Abel. And I feel like we need Cain. save. Uh, you know what? I still want to give you one level. I don't need Julian. There's no chests here. There are no treasures here. And I don't think there's a secret shop. Yeah, I don't think there is. So, I think we can bench Julian for now. And let's grab Kane. Where is he? I have a feeling he needs to talk to Abel. There we go. Sounds good. General, the missing Ultian remnants have finally returned. Really? <laughs> what good timing. We will follow our original plan. Have Grosh, so uh, have Grosh sh soldiers move out to lure them and then defeat them in one go. Understood. But what about him? Paladin Abel? It doesn't matter if he betrays me. If he does, you will kill the female hostage. Ah. He's already retired from the army. He won't swear loyalty to the prince again. <laughs> How will they avoid fighting Abel? This will be very interesting to watch. So they have a hostage. Oh, is it Lena? It might be Lena. Okay. Oh, this kind of sucks. No matter what I do, if I get in range of a ballista, Abel's gonna fight. Unless I give you a javelin. Still may be worth trying to get rid of ballistas, though. Let's check. Kind of on a uh, scouting run. But yeah, how'd you choose the final boss, Hawkorn Dog? Let's see if we can get rid of this ballista. The real question is, will we not kill Aeolus? That's the real one. And we just got HP. Yeah, this is the sucky part now. Any levels we get, it's basically just going to be HP, defense, and resistance if we get anything. Okay, we got a bunch of javelins here. Luckily, we can send a mage this way. We have a mage right here. Okay. Do that. I want to repair Aura again. Okay, we got to prep on this side. I want to make sure... Draw goes this way, because we're just going to send him to the arena. He just needs one more level. Agma. We're gonna have you be the champ. How many can hit Agma? Agma's in danger. We better make sure no one else is in danger. Actually, we may make sure this guy's in danger. But down. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Est! There's Est. Okay. So we need to save Est. That's what's over here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Yeah, you want Est in this corner shoot. If she gets attacked by swarm, she can now avoid it. 
I don't know if this guy's gonna do anything. That would be mean. I don't think he's gonna do anything. So it sounds like if we want to recruit Abel, we have to save Est? Wait, she's technically on my team. So maybe this is a case where we just need to make sure she stays alive and leave Abel alive at the end of this. In the forts are many enemies. Don't be careless. I think that basically means that there's going to be reinforcements from here, so we may need to block them. We need to bring Kane. It sounds like, to me, it sounds like we need to make sure he stays alive. And just, he joins at the end of the chapter after we finish it. Um, what? Turn into a Durgan. this design. That's where she got her design. She just got a basic like dragon one last time. That's nice. Okay, I need to make sure Fina gets out of the way. Marth, you got to head over here. Uh, let's just kind of keep you in the middle for now. Let's see how this goes. We're attacking Navarre. Should be able to make this work. Okay. Okay, Agma. Be the champ you were born to be. Yes. Only two damage. Agma, you're the champ steal all that EXP from everyone else. Now we can put that in storage for now. Okay. This is kind of why I'm probably going to end up using the arena. Strength, weapon level, resistance, HP... We got a silver lance? Yeah. Well, Agma has this section covered. just going to the villages. I wonder if this is a uh, multiple choice one, kind of like last time. Just sending out magic. Okay. Okay. Abel did not move. That's good to know. Sadly, if I go to try to attack the other one, most likely he's going to attack. 36 damage. Oh, wow. Uh, that would be 21. That would be 21. I 
I don't... I don't really know how I want to handle this. Molly! You okay? How do I want to handle this? It is just 10 magic damage. Uh... We're at full health again. If I use... Let's just say... The steel for now. No, I can't double. If I use the killer, I can double. 26. So, 15? Oh yeah, Ryan's got this. Good thing I got killer stuff. There we go. Level 18, skill, luck, weapon level. And we got the Rider's Bane. Okay. Um... Warren. Can you do something about this one? With the killer, we have attack speed of 6. We can double. 23. Talking 12. Not enough to KO. Sadly, I would have to go for a crit. That's just what I have to do. Warren just doesn't have the strength in comparison to Ryan. Come on, crit. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I can have Tiki get rid of it. That's not a bad idea. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and just do a, a quick heal on Navar. I have warp. <laughs> Your steel sword in hand. You should have this. Yeah, you got this. Perfect. Level 16, luck and HP. Uh, well, at least your strength is 14. That's pretty good. Actually, can Rody do this? Let's start with the iron. Attack of 19, 12, not enough. We use the steel. Yeah, I think we can. There's a bunch of talismans that buff great shields. We buff stamina, recovery to an insane amount. You wore the best armor in the game. You just stood still with your shield and rapier in hand after five minutes in the second phase. One. Weapon level, HP. Okay. So. Hey, Retsy, how's it going? Uh, we finished chapter 14 with only one failed attempt. You know what? I could probably. I could give this to someone else. Uh. Ryan, you can take it. I think we'll just hand it to him. How's it going, Retsy? We'll just hand this KO to Navarre. Yeah, currently on Chapter 15, back to reclaim Arcanea. After going to the Dragon Temple and recruiting Tiki. And, uh... We got the Light Sphere, which that will help us fight Harden, because he has the Dark Sphere. And... We got all the Star Shards, which means Goto took all of our Star Shards and formed, uh, fused them together to the Star Sphere. So now I lost all of my Cosmic Shards, which means, uh, which that means no stat boosting stuff for me. Oh well. Okay. X speed of 5. Uh, yeah, you'll get doubled. But, you're drawing a bit, so you had to leave them. You're drawing a bit, so you had to leave them for a while. What are you drawing? What are you drawing, Retsy? 
I'm I'm someone that needs to draw more, but I keep putting it off, so I don't really like to think about it much. Okay, so your attack is 18. Defense is 14. Oh yeah. Okay, we're fine. Come on, Tiki. Mist Breath. Attack of 26. Just any sort of dragon, it's effective. That's insane. A little sketch of the female Violet. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, like... I need to draw more. I just get distracted. So I lately I've been trying not to think about it. Just try to focus on other stuff, possibly. Okay, I want Lind... Get in range. I, I don't want to get too close now that I think about it. Okay, yeah, we'll just have Lind go here for now. March will head here. Um, so yeah, in this chapter, there is an arena, so we're gonna definitely spend some time there. By the way, uh, Abel's here. But at the beginning, Abel said that Abel probably won't join because there is a hostage. So that probably means we need to make sure Est and Abel are alive and then complete the chapter. Or have... Actually, it probably means have Est talk to Abel. That's probably what it means. And you know what? I'm gonna have Katria just fight this one right here. Get rid of one of their healers. Perfect. Get rid of Physic. By the way, I think there's gonna be ad playing in the next few minutes. I don't know how long, but uh, I will go and refill my water during that. I'd like to move a little bit forward. I don't know who to hand these kills to. Oh, wait! I benched my thief. I'm gonna need a door key. I'm gonna need to grab door, door keys. Okay. I didn't even think about that. I thought I needed to bring a cane to uh, recruit uh, Abel. But it sounds like it might actually need to be asked. Granted, if I fail this, then I don't need to actually bring Kane. And I can bring Julian back in. But for right now, I need to go ahead and bring my uh, Gravador key. We got both. We got rid of both of the armor units. And now it's the sniper. I have the warp staff. I could use that. No, I took one damage. Get out of here with that. We even got the crit. That's ridiculous. Hellfire. Yeah. Oh, I could give her Bantu's like fire stone and have her turn into a fire dragon, I guess. Why would I do that though? Just to give her more options. It's too bad we couldn't have bought the the fire or the ice dragon stones. We could have had Tiki turn into a flying or a ice dragon if we wanted to. Strength, speed, and HP. I mean, that's all I care about. He does move. Well, let's see if he survives. Your Highness, please forgive me. I don't want to lose Est. Wait, is Abel and Est a thing? A couple?
Okay. Or is he just worried about her safety? I don't know why. That just seemed weird. Well, we know that Katria can make sure that uh, Abel's not killed. At least we know that much. Uh, speak of Katria. I'm just gonna have her fight the sniper. Get rid of this guy. There! That threat's gone. Level 3. We got a little bit of HP out of that. Oh, maybe I should have stood on the village. Protected it, but then Catria would have been in danger. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see look here. Do I need a warp marth? I might need to. I kind of want to see what that village has. So I'm going to warp. Uh, yeah. Who knows, we may not be needing this. We, might n we may not be keep keeping this run anyway. Okay, first. I want to grab a door key. I have one, right? I have a door key, right? I don't have a door key. Well, that sucks. I need Julian. Okay. No Ju- Unless the shop has- Actually, there might be shops. Hold on. Let's just check the village. Oh, your highness! you finally come! I've been waiting to give this to you. However, this village and the neighboring village... Hmm? I understand. But for the sake of everyone, you should start to make up with them. Yeah, we got a Draco shield. Okay, so... I don't know what's over there. Get a Draco shield out of here. And, uh, this is where Aaron was. Samson was over here in book one. I wonder if that's still kind of the case. Is, I wonder if Samson is recruitable. Okay. The sniper may move. Uh, we could probably get Ryan in range. Or Warren. Warren will probably work out fine. Although there is a chance he probably won't move anyway. But we'll leave it there. There we go. So... I gotta check one of these shops and see if there are door keys. If there isn't, I have to reset. Tiki, just hang out here for now. Uh, Kane, just kind of chill out over here and just slowly move along. Uh, let's see. Cecile, we'll go over here. And I'll make sure Ryan gets a bit closer. I think everyone is going to have to start moving to the left. Sure. Not sure how I want to handle this. Alright, who's left? Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh no, one damage. He's so scared. I think the actually I think all of them will go after the team. And here I thought I had Tiki out of the way. Yeah, I... Okay. Oh no! He dodged! Again, it was one damage. I am so scared. Clearly. We 
got elf fire for later. That could go in storage. Yes, go ahead and fight Marth. It will totally work. Okay, seven damage. That's something. Yeah, just go ahead and heal everyone. Abel needs it. Okay, Tiki. You got this. We're only talking total of eight damage. Or, never mind. Tiki, you're a monster. And here I was, gonna give EXP to other units. Strength, speed, resistance, and HP. Why would I think I'd use anyone else? Abel's on the move. That's not a good sign. He's actively on the move. Is it because we got him range? Get rid of this guy. Okay. So I'll let Agma and Navar head down here. Oh, there's an ad. Just saw it. Okay, I'm gonna step away for a second. I'm gonna refill my wife. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Make sure I have everything. Oh. All right. Oh, by the way, oh, wait, ads are still coming. Give me a second. I'll let that play out real quick. Um, I'll let Sheeta have this one. I think we just need iron. Yeah, we're just with the iron. Uh, by the way, Hot Corn Dog, if you're still listening. Uh, something I wanted to ask. Since I have God of War 3 now, I need to pick up a copy of 1 and 2. I know there is a collection of the two games remastered on PS3. Is there... Is that an okay version, or was the, were those, like, bad ports or, anything or something? Or should I just try to go for the original PS2 copies? I mean, I would probably end up getting all of them at some point anyway, but for right now, it seems like just getting the PS3 version would be better in terms of money-wise right now. Like if I were to get one, if I were to get a set. Um, I think I could have most of my other units just head out. God of War 1 and 2. Because, uh, I picked up 3, so now I need 1 and 2. I know I'll probably eventually get PS2 copies for those, but for right now, should I just not bother and just get the PS3 version? Or are those bad ports? Or do, do they just do the job? I'm not saying I'm gonna pick it up anytime soon. I'm just saying, like, if I were to pick one up at the moment, what would I go for? More thieves have arrived. Ah, 
Okay. Who's gonna die? Because three versions aren't bad, they're still faithful. Okay, so at least that's a good start. All right, is someone gonna die? Well, at least she can fight back now. Yay. Level three, speed and HP. No, no attack. You're gonna use a javelin on Kane. I wasn't even planning to actually use him. Right, Sheeta's getting attacked. Okay. So, uh, uh, getting the PS4, PS3 versions aren't bad versions. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'll still probably end up getting PS2 copies at some point anyway. Um, these guys aren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. I just don't want too many units out and about. Uh, let's go ahead and let Sheeta get, uh, go ahead and attack maybe this one. Try to get some EXP. Yeah, because I remember, like, the collections that for, like, the Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter, and Ratchet and Clank, I think it, I think it was more so with, uh, the Sly Cooper collection, like, there were just, like, some issues with them, I believe. You know what, I'm gonna have Melissa... I need to stop some of these, just to make sure we don't have too many numbers. I'm gonna clip that one for a second. I'm gonna attack with this one. I don't want to use that shaver. Javelin, Javelin. Just a spear guy, I think? I don't remember. We'll make sure Kane's up here then. I think I might be able to give Drog a KO, so I'll send him up here. Uh, Lind? I guess we'll have Lind do this. I think Thunder will be enough. I don't think we need anything else. Yeah, sadly, like, I would suggest be like, hey, maybe I'll play God of War on stream, but I already know the Greek trilogy games like to get hit. It's like, not copyright, but, uh, like adult themes or something, so I think, I think the Greek, the Greek trilogy is, like, hard to stream, if I remember correctly. What do we got in here? Okay, good. We can buy a door key. I had a feeling we could buy one. Alright, now Katria is going to have to go this way. And we want to open this door, then have Tiki. Well, maybe not Tiki, but we need to have someone run in. Start heading to the arena. Alright. Okay. Rank 
keep moving. We're definitely going to be heading to the arena soon. Prioritize doing that. It's got to get around Abel. Definitely, that's, that's the biggest problem, is getting around Abel. And you know what? I think Mark needs to back up. We don't want to fight Abel. Keeping Abel alive is going to be tricky. Okay. Fine with that. At this point, I don't have to worry about shards. Okay, go after Kane, I guess. Oh, he just takes a lot of damage, that's why. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize Tiki was a full health. Ah, still not. Okay, we need to get rid of that mage. Uh, I didn't realize the mage was that bad. Okay, first, uh, can you just go up here? I'll deal with the javelins. Mages are more dangerous. Good. Level 12, skill, luck, and weapon level. Yeah, okay. Katria, you start moving. We can have you fight. We can have you fight a thief. Okay, we got a crit. Your great game story is kind of alright. People for some reason have trouble understanding Kratos, so that's why they say, so they say the story is weird. Hmm. Well, from what I understand, the story itself is really just Kratos mad, kill, Kratos killed gods. Plot happens. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dang it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna need. Let's just set Navar here. But it's more of like it's more of the tragedy of Kratos than like whatever the plot actually is. Uh, you know what? Let's take a second to actually just heal him. Gods betray Kratos. Kratos mad. Kratos kill gods. Yeah, that's the story. That's all you need. Strength, speed. Good. She heals... Her heal staff now heals the same amount as a mend. And honestly, that's about all you really need. At this point, she probably doesn't really need a mend staff. If I rush in, I might be able to swap uh, King out. You know what? We need to get away from Abel. I don't care if the thieves run away, right? Silver swords, rapiers. Okay, I'm missing out on on good weapons, but that's it. You know what I could have done? I could have more stand here and not check the village. If he didn't check the village, then, uh... The thieves would have kept moving. More thieves have arrived. Alright, that one had a bow. And Abel's on his way back because Catra is close. Someone's dying. Okay, we 
got? Attack of 34. Come on. Come on, Sheeta. Oh, good. You dodged. Sheeta did the impossible. The unthinkable. She dodged. There we go. So, Sheeta, go ahead. Earn your kill. There we go. That's something. Okay. I want... I can leave... The two javelin ones are fine. The mage is a problem, so I'm gonna have Kane back out. Kane doesn't need me. I think I'll go ahead and let... something like this. And right now, I think I want to get... You know, do something like that. That way... She's protected. Yeah, I want Martha to back out. Okay. Oh, Tiki's still a dragon. Good, good, good. Trade the door key. And we are going to go ahead and use the door key. I'm going to let Tiki go right ahead. And attack the general. She's not fast enough to double. That's fine. No, nope. Agma, with the armor slayer, do your job. There we go. That works. But yeah, I think Greek Trilogy God of War is hard to stream. Uh, because, you know, because of the adult content. There we go. S is safe. I made this work. Now it seems like we probably need her to talk to Abel. If we set Katria, like, somewhere in here, we can l start luring Abel, which that will get him closer to the past. Let's see how we want to do this. See how this goes. She's at full health. You're weak. I want to... Drog needs it. And I'll just use the steel. The full, the one that's mostly full. He needs, like, one more level to promote. And then we can class change him and get the achievement. If we get the achievement and still lose, I'll still... I won't take Drog then. Because all I cared about was getting the general. Okay. I am gonna go ahead and put the Rody right here for now. There we go. This will be fine. Okay. Table's on his way that way. I want Katria to go ahead and we'll do this. I don't plan to actually use Est, but the fact that you recruit Est here in a spot with the arena is 
not a bad uh, position to have. I do want S plus, though. So this guy does move. Yeah, I want S like right here. And everyone else can start heading back. about all I need. Because again, Abel's gonna turn around and head to Catria. See how this goes. Oh no, more thieves! I'm correct, that guy's gonna go out to shoot up. Didn't see that. But we dodge. And we have enough resistance to survive a hit. They came down to that. Oh, you're going after Drog. It's fine. I may not double, but I could just fight back. Honestly, this works out for Drog. Okay. Perfect. So I think like one more kill will give him the level. Everyone up there is fine. Over here, I need Tiki, Agma, and Navarre to keep moving. I'm not going to turn Tiki into a dragon. She might be done. She might be done for the chapter. Honestly, Tiki's a unit where you don't really need to fully train her. She's good out of the get-go. Okay. I still want him to start continuing to back up. I want Katria to like back out right there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I have S up here, we might be close enough. We'll see how that goes. I didn't realize he would move. But I think this will work out for me anyway. Yeah, this kind of works out. Fourteen, level four. Just HP. I mean, there's not much to boost anyway. Oh, you're just running away. Okay. Good. Abel's on his moving. Abel's moving. The thieves are moving for whatever reason. They have nowhere to actually run away to, so they're just at, they're just running away. Oh, is that it for the thieves? Let's see if we can get another one to spawn. Alright, over here. Let's see if I was correct. Yes. Abel! I'm sorry. You must have suffered. Est, you're safe! Yes, Lord Marth rescued me. I'm alright now. Really? Damn, Arcanea. But how should I apologize to Lord Marth? I'm sorry. It was all because of me. No, Est. It has nothing to do with you. Those fools. I won't forgive them. I'll show them how deep my anger is. And we got Abel! There we go, we got a new paladin with us, and he's probably going to be benched. I'll just go ahead and get rid of this guy with the silver lance. 
Okay, so I did not need Kane. That's good to know. All right. We got S. We got Abel. Seems all good to me. Honestly, uh, I think the major threats are gone. I think we might be done with the reinforcements, as far as I can tell. So, I think we could just head towards the arena. Uh, if that's true, I'm just gonna have Brian start moving. And Kane was a waste of my time. I could have just brought Julian. I, sh I do want to look up what the other house would have given me. But other than that, I think we're good. Seems like it would have been a support item. Uh, now I can have Mark move. Uh, next, next turn, next turn. Let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, we still got those guys move, uh, popping up. Is it every other turn, or is it because only a certain amount can spawn at a time? I don't know. Okay. Is there a way I can weaken him? For drop. And we can him. Drog, you can't double, I already know that. Cecile, can we weaken? The weakest one is the Slim Lance. Eleven? Nope. We will get the KO. Strength of thirteen, strength of twelve. Oh, hold on. Okay. If Rhodey uses the Slim Lance... Never mind, he got the crit. Okay. Never mind. Uh... See, if I want another shot, I'm gonna need to do something like this. See if he goes after Drog now. Alright, everyone get on the move. I don't think I'll have Marth go to the arena. I don't think he's needed. We'll probably just prioritize level, uh, capping his level up in the next few chapters. Katria, go ahead and get rid of this other healer. Other than that, I think that's a, just some random thieves, and then we'll focus on the arena. Pretty simple chapter. I thought this would be a lot harder. Honestly, the toughest part was getting here, but I had to use a warp staff. Oh well. Okay, has arrived. Okay, you're attacking Drog, that's good. Perfect. Just what I wanted. Okay. Drog, go ahead. Grab your KO. Again, if you really wanted to make Drog work, you would have to, one, really focus on him, and two, give him the shards that boost speed. Are you kidding me? Well, yeah, you know what, we'll just let him get attacked again, it'll work out. I guess Agma's just heading to the boss right now. Katria, grab this KO. Get 
rid of all their healing plans. Just gonna have him head to the arena. Est, you just get out of the way. Uh, Abel. Uh, just leave, I guess. Oh, thieves. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not worried about those thieves. It's just EXP for my other units. Oh, right, I need to get rid of the guy with Swarm. I'll have Katria do that. Yeah, yeah, Drog, can you actually hit him this time? Well, actually, he just needs to attack, like, one more time. Come on, Drog, you got this. Actually hit him this time. Yay, you did it. Intense skill and HP. Alright, in the meantime... Katria, have him down. S, just get out of the way. Over here, dance. So, Drog is currently level 10. He can promote. I just realized, since I don't have shards, I have a bunch of item space now, so what I could do is grab this Orion's Bolt. And go ahead and trade that over. There we go. Ryan, go ahead and do your thing. Attack of 24. Attack speed of 9. Not enough. With 10, it has to be with the killer if I want to double. There we go. Got a silver bow. That's. That's. Sa oh, no, that's a silver sword. Never mind. That, either way, that's going to be switched. just heading this way. I'll have them check the house. Uh, everyone else just kind of hang out here. More thieves! More thieves for Ryan! I guess. These thieves are just kind of hanging out. They can't do anything. Right now, they're just fodder. Alright. Right now, I want Drog to stand on this spot. Let's get Warren out of the way. That way he can start getting healed. And we are going to promote him. There, we got the achievement. If I fail this chapter... And I have to start over. I don't need to bring Drog. Strength plus two, skill by one, speed by three, weapon by two, defense by four, resistance by three, and HP by five. 
Alright. Um... How are we going to block the path? We could do... We could do this. When do you get over here? I kind of want the kills to kind of go over here. Let's see, how do I want to handle this? I can have S start heading up this way, plug one of them when needed. Alright, let's see. Ryan, go right ahead and grab another KO. There we go. Actually, think about it. Do I really need to use the killer for these? I don't know. The DLC ending in Eldoom was disappointing. Oh, how so? How was it disappointing? I might be able to get Ryan to promote by just killing the thieves. I don't think he needs to go to the arena. Oh, let me double check this. I can't double attack at 24. Oh, I could have just used the iron. I one hit KO. I just, he's just that strong. Okay. 19. Strength, skill, speed, HP. We got a silver sword? Yes. There we go. Oh, Ryan! You're one strength away from capping. Alright, I might as well check this out. The mercenaries protecting the castle are Astrem's elites. It'd be great if they could become your allies. Protecting the castle... Oh, he must be talking about inside the castle. It was a cutscene to Mukoya. Uh, promising to Radahan. Radahan will bring the Asia compassion and save the lands between. Hmm. So it was just like, I promise to do good. Okay, and that's it. Start here, land on the fort. It took place in the past. Hmm. Weird. It sounds like we're gonna be dealing with Astrum next chap next chapter. Attacking Rody. Okay. Uh, the cutscene took place in the past. The fight and your whole journey is the present, obviously. Hey, Ryan. But again, so the ending cutscene is just like, these two people be like, I promise I'll bring peace to the world. Okay, and that's it. Okay, we got some more gold. Abel, do you have something to say to Marth? No, you don't. Why don't you have something to say to Marth? You, you, you were his enemy. Abel est drog gonna plug the forts. Needed. What is your strength at? Six? Huh. Can you make it? Yes, you can. She needs to start moving so we can start messing with the arena. Okay, for right now, I'm gonna 
grab give this KO to Navar. Because he should level up from this. Seventeen strength and HP. Uh, Rody's fine. Actually, you know what I could do. Agma, you. Agma backs out. Sheeta goes here. Uh, Rody, go ahead and equip just the iron. There we go. And let's make sure this is plugged. This is a good sign. We'll make sure to have... We'll make sure Lind has, uh, like, a heal staff at the very least. Who's left? Catch ya. Oh, we can make it here. And we can get r rid of Swarm. Nothing out of that. Wow. Not even HP, Katria. Boss fight itself lo looks amazing, but doing the fight sucks. Crown swords have massive hitboxes. It's bigger than its visual representation. Oh, I hate those. There's very little breathing room, so you'll be forced to play it once. Play it one way. You'll be so you'll be forced to play it one way. Cheese it. Attacks of AOEs. You don't have to cheese it though, right? Is that 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 can't be the only way to actually beat it? Oh, you said or to cheese it. Okay. Okay, you're attacking Cecile instead. Catria heal up here. Okay. You don't, but dodging his attacks requires a ton of effort. The magic is out of the question. He just because he just flies through the map. All of his range attacks are also cool. So it's hard to aim with magic, right? He just has great magic evasion or something? He was like, uh, I'm gonna move here. Why? Okay. I mean, whatever, dude. Magic is out of the question. It means doing range combat is in a good situation. Okay. Because he's just that dodgy, right? So, you, the strategy is to get up close and personal. Seems like there isn't going to be another set of reinforcements right there. 
hold off a second before I do anything. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh... Okay, we may be done with reinforcements on that square. If I'm correct... What I can do is I can move Warren, Agma, and do something like this. Oh, and we don't want S here. See how that goes. Great, right, you need to keep moving. Over here. Ryan, do your thing. Get your tail. He will just jump, jump to your face and hit you. Second phase is much worse. He does a bunch of attacks. Oh, she just spams miracles that cover most of the area. Can you lure him to those AoE attacks? HP. Ryan is now level 20. He can now promote. Alright. Katria is done. I'm probably going to have Katria go to Marth very quick. And we're going to grab stuff out of supply. Just make some deliveries. Make a few deliveries. Um, okay, let's see. Orion's bolt, but you're on your way. We can grab it later. Knight's crest. Knight's crest. Hero's crest. I think that's it. Four items. Oh, dragon whip. Okay. Let's grab stuff out of supply. Okay. We want okay. one knight's crest for one of my knights, I guess. I might need to buy another one. Hero's crest for Navarre. Okay. Sadly, I used my knight's crest on uh, Drog. Well, it's just gonna have to make it work. have you keep going. Alright. We might have to buy one more Knight's Crest. We can in the first phase. And that's what I was that's what I was hoping for right there. Second phase, Rodhan will do these AoEs that will that take him some time to recover, but she uses miracles targeting you. So you gotta be close to her. She uses miracles. Left. Wait, you have to be close so he uses miracles left less often. So if you're trying to attack from farther range, Rodahan will use those same AoEs. So that's why you need to be close so he doesn't use those. Ryan, it is time! We have a sniper. Strength, skill by one, speed by five, defense by one, resistance by three, and two movement. Yeah, you needed that movement. Look at that, Ryan! doing really good. Again, his speed went up by five. That is ridiculous. Okay. And this is what I was planning for. So, who should I give the KO to? Uh, let's hand it to Sheeta. Oh, 
never mind, we're not giving it to Sheeta. We're gonna hand it to Cecile. One of them needs to KO for the level. There we go, level 13, skill, luck, weapon level. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, I guess everyone else could kind of just wait here. It's not hurting anything. You head this way. You head up. You gotta make deliveries. Oh no! This guy is attacking! Whatever will able do. With the shield build you use, you can just stand there and poke him with the rapier since thrusting swords and spears can be used with a shield at the same time. So you protect. So you just upgrade the stats where uh, it's so strong that it can resist the AoEs for like little to no damage. And then just poke him every once in a while. Nearby are enemy spies. Be careful. They will come from the forts. Are you talking? Okay. Basically, just saying reinforcements will be here. I'm like, yeah, I already know that dude. Cheetah to get the KO. Or, you know, we get crits. That works too. I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. Level 15, skill, luck, weapon level. Warren, you keep going on the move. Did I move my heal? Yes. I uh, will have you head back this way. I think we're good. More reinforcements! Oh no! This thief is on the move! That thief is also moving! That one too! What's gonna happen to the thieves? I'm so glad the thieves can't actually steal anything. <laughs> I guess, um, I guess we'll just set Mark on the fort for now to get healed. Let's check another house. Since being ruled by the Imperial Army, our days have been difficult, have been difficultly passed. Our days have been difficultly passed. That's not, okay. But... We all believed that Lord Marth would definitely come back for us. He would rescue us all from our suffering. Again. Because our Lord Marth is the warrior of light chosen by the deities. The star and savior. I would call that lore, but not it's not really war. A uh, lore. Alright, well, I want you to get the KO. Let's just try the steel. Silver? Yeah, well, if she did it gets the she needs the silver. Of course you get the crit. Works. Level 13. Skill, luck, weapon level. No strength though. You need strength. Again, Sheeta, are you gonna have the same problem? Like in FE1? I can't really trade, can I? Well, there's one thing I could do. I'll do this. And I'll trade 
the hero crest over. There we go. Oh, that's fine up there. Warren needs to keep moving. We'll start having Warren go to the arena. Soon. Eventually. Oh no, more thieves. I'm so scared by these thieves. <laughs> Is it? After Altea fell, Elise was taken to an unknown place by a black-robed bishop. Oh, Princess Elise, I pray that you are safe and well. The one tanking the damage is the Great Shield. You gotta raise your stats so you can lift up the shield to do damage to the rear of your eyes. So if you don't have strong enough stats to even use the shield at all, then it's not going to help you. Like, you need, like, a little strength boost. Was that it? Was that it up here? I think that was. I might wait one more turn just in case. The other option is the mage, but that's kind of hard to set up without anyone getting hurt. But I could do it. I could try to work on the mage. It seems like that set of reinforcements is done. It's just the mage that's left. And I'm not going to bother with the mage. I'll leave the mage alone. The kingdom of Gra views Altia as its enemy. But in reality, they were forced to fight because of their alliance with Arcanea. Just saying they're not really against you, except they are. Sounds like we are- it is time to start heading to the arena. Katria, make a delivery. Let's go ahead and hand the dragon whip over. Ready? Trade over the knight's crest. Still need one more. Go ahead and let S plug the spot. Can I let... Actually, you know what? I'm going to have Kane plug it. Because I already know I'm not using him. Not like I really need to move Tiki or anything. But... Is that it? Yeah, I can't... Oh, wait, no. I got to move the arm. visits. What do we got? Oh, you. Where did you all go to? You all went missing for so long that everyone became very worried about you. Very useful. Very useful, I swear. Okay. On the way to the arena... I guess we'll also follow, but head towards the boss and not necessarily. Uh, Ogma, oh, you get out of the way. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll have Sheeta get rid of the thieves. They're easy kills. And she has good movement. You know, she can make it there. Alright. I'll have Sheeta take out the thieves. Try to give her a few more 
levels out of them before going to the arena. Speaking of the arena, it is time. Uh, we're gonna be here for a while. I don't know how many levels I want to give everyone, but some of my units need levels. How much time should we spend in the arena? I don't know. This is the only annoying part about the arena. What number? We want to get under a thousand. I think that's my only bet is like under a thousand. If we get under a thousand, I think I'll take it. So far, no luck. There's no way I'm going to be able to get like a 600. Oh no, 840. I'll take it. Over 15. First of all, Kashria, go ahead and trade over their Ryan's Quotes. Let's go ahead and heal. Hmm. Rather top off the health. And the ant's done. You've started the arena training with Warren. How many levels do we want to give him? We'll see, I mean, we'll see how long it takes, but we may give him to level maybe 17. Two levels. Seems like Cecile needs the most training. Cecile and Sheeta. Brody, we could probably give two levels. Navar. Navar could probably use like maybe one or two levels, and we could try to feed him the KOs in the next few chapters. I don't think I'm gonna grind everyone to where they can cap out and promote. I don't think I'm gonna do that. But we want to give them levels and a few more levels, and then try to prioritize using them in the next few chapters. We are only on chapter 14. No, 15. We're on 15. But we do need to give some... Uh, we need to give some levels for them to catch up. Oh, no, I think I need to use... And... Oh, I was looking at attack speed and confusing that with defense. Okay, we're good. Oh, now you get a crit. Seven forty, we'll take it. Okay, sixteen. Uh, 
Okay, that, that, that works out. Level 16, skill went up, and that's it. Ouch. Is that... Yeah. It wasn't really skill that was needed. Since Warren's capped, we'll let him try the arena again. There we go. Okay, Warren, let's go in again. No, we are not betting that high. Are you nuts? Has to be below a thousand. Nope. It's e it's getting even higher. <laughs> <coughs> no, I think it actually has to be below a thousand. <coughs> okay, seven fifty. Basically, same fight. Of course, I went first this time, but I double, I win. We're good. Yeah, more of those mages, please. Yeah, it won't be too hard to give them uh, a few more levels. Two more kills, and he's level 17. I don't know if we want to do more than that. Okay, I want to make sure everyone else gets moving. Because who knows what I need to use against the boss. Probably just one of the right, uh, She has already moved. Okay, what is in this shop? Still no silver card. I want to buy a th Thunder. Uh, let's go ahead and just throw this Thunder in storage. It's fine. A Heal Staff for Lind. A Men Staff for Lind. That would be fine. We're probably going to want to buy more and send them in storage. gonna be sitting here for a while. Get comfy. It's grinding time. How much time spending in the arena is just abusing the game and just overleveling? Is giving characters that are underleveled, like, letting them catch up good enough? Like, is that abuse? Or is it like, oh, giving them one or two levels is abuse? Like, how how much training in an arena in Fire Emblem is too much training? That's what I want to know. Let's go ahead and make a delivery. There we go. You head this way. Like, Navarre's level 17. Is giving him one level arena abuse? Because he's already pretty high level. You can make an argument he might not need it and just needs to fight things. Or is one level not abuse, but getting him to 20 is? I don't know. There are many ways to look at this. Ooh. 
If I really wanted to abuse this, I would get everyone that's not promoted, promoted. That would be abuse. Alright, Warren. Let's go again. Must be below a thousand. Thousand, I think it's just past the threshold where we're fighting stronger stuff. Level 17. Let's try it. What are we fighting? 12 damage? Okay, I have to take two hits. Okay, we tie. You know what? I think I need to back out of this. Yeah, I need to back out. I need to back out. Not only will I not kill, uh, if he crits, I'm dead. Yes, I am surrendering. It needs to be lower than that. That was just... That just was not great. You know what, I might, you know what I might do? I might turn off uh, animations for my healer and my dancer. Okay, how much, uh, you need a mend. Did I get anything out of that? It looks like I got HP. That's kind of annoying if you level up with no animations. You don't know what stats you got. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Let's just try this again. No. Even 990 is not good enough. We might need to get below 900. Hell no. It's too high. The fact that there was a chance for the enemy to crit me just did not go well. And I just couldn't tell if uh, I could do it in three hits. But I also didn't... Speed is just kind of randomly determined on who goes first. So, I couldn't even guarantee that. It was not worth it. Come on, Warren. Get a lower bet. I can't get a bet lower than a thousand right now. 990 is still too high. It's just like, oh, I'll get one lower, below a thousand. It's just like, <sighs> now you're just messing with me. The game's messing with me right now. It, it feels like the more you use a unit, the less likely it'll give you a lower bet, but I know it's just random. It has to be random. Oh my God, I can't. Okay, hold on, hold on. Have I, have I used Sheeta yet? I have not. Let's let her fight. At least giving Sheeta these thief kills is helping her out. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and just heal Cecile. Bar, you head up. We'll 
try Cecile. Seven sixty, we'll take it. Level fourteen. Double, right? Yeah, there we go. That worked out. That helped. Oh, wait. Uh, turn off animation for my dancer. Still needs a lot of training too. Level 13. Lind Augment Tikir Golden What does the weapon shop have? What do we got? Killing Edge, Silver Sword, Javelin, Killer Spear. Silver Lance, Silver Bow. What about the other shot? Okay. Iron Sword, Steel Sword, Iron Lance, Steel Lance, Iron Bow, Steel Bow. Okay. Oh, I need to restock then. Agma's fine. No, the Master Sword is basically the replacement for the killer. Uh, Rody could use a steel. We can replace. Oh, we're gonna be busy. Navar could use a replacement killer. Oh, God. So much to consider right now. Actually, Ryan could use a new set. Actually, he should go to Marth and grab a silver out of storage. Now that I'm thinking about it, just to hold on to it. There's a lot to keep track of. Sheeta, go ahead and kill the thief. Twenty? Yeah, we'll take it. Level thirteen. Okay. Twelve damage. And we dodge. That that helps actually. I don't think we could Oh Oh we dodged again! something I was potentially worried about right there. Man, I hate this arena. The fact that I don't know who will go first. That's the scary part. It makes you wonder if speed is a factor, but I don't know. It's not consistent. Let's just try it again. Let's go right back in. No, not that high. No, not a thousand. Eight twenty, we'll take it. I think it's the same guy. Oh no, um, different guy. I'll. 
I don't know if I could really do this one. Unless I dodge a lot. Oh no. I, I'm not risking it. No, 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 no. Yes, I could. If he went first, I will most likely lose. And I'm not starting this over, are you nuts? Yeah, I don't want to take the risk of starting this over. If I went first, I would have won, so. That's the... That's the, if I knew who was going to go first, that would have been a different story. Okay. One more thief. Level 15, skill, weapon level, defense, and HP. So far, there is only one more thief. Let's put the writer's bane in storage. Let's grab a silver bow. And we have two more silver bows. And I just saw in there, we have a bunch of silver axes. We still don't have an axe user. It makes me wonder if there are no axe users at all in this uh in fe3 or at least this version of fe3 okay, let's let's try again 760 i'll take it oh the mage okay i should be able to double Level 14, skill, luck, weapon level. Not really great level, is it? Nothing? Okay. So it just seems like there's the one thief left, and that's it. She is already a level 15. She got a few levels out of this, so... We might not give her that much more. Okay. 880? Yeah, we'll try that. Granted, I didn't get a strength or defense boost. User. Okay. 20 damage. I can only take one. And I need to get out of there. There's no way. There's no chance. Oh, dang it. At least I can back out. At least it gives you the option to just back out right there. In case you misclick. Alright, time to try that again. we'd be fighting the same thing again. Oh, God. I may have someone else give it a try. Like Navarre. 
830, we'll try. 830 is not bad. We got... Pixis. Please help. Oh, come on. Like, it's not... I can't even guarantee if I go first. This is dumb. Oh, no. I almost need to, like, just fight the... the mage, just to guarantee it. I'll let Naval fight. You know what? I think I'll spend a second healing some of my other units. Heal some of my other units. I'll let Warren fight. Let's see what we got. <sighs> nope. Needs to be lower than a thousand. Remember the arena in genealogy where everyone has seven rounds and that's it? That's a different take. And no one dies in the arena. 750. Alright. Where I, I, the strategy I ended up going with later on once I realized how the arena works is have everyone go in the arena turn one and see how far they can get. And then you know, try to get some extra levels that way. And then when you're about to finish the chapter, go back in the arena for the ones that couldn't finish it and see if they can get a little bit more far. Get a little bit further. I think just needs like one more one more win and if he does if he gets just one more win we'll be good 750 we'll take it I saw that 12% crit. There was a risk there. Strength, weapon level, and HP. So I'll let Warren stay at level 70. We gave him two levels. We'll try to... We'll go ahead and try to give him the last three in the next few chapters. I think that's fair. Maybe buy a heal staff. I'm gonna buy two, because one's gonna go in storage. Sheeta go to the arena for one level, get her to level 16, and then we'll try to give her the four levels throughout the rest of the game. I think I'll be fair. Okay. Yeah, we'll give Warren a uh, focus later. I'm gonna let Navar go. In. 9, 10? I don't know. Let's try to go lower. I know he's level 17, but let's try to go a little lower. Let's 
760. Take it. Alright. Oh, a silver axe. Okay, I take 20. Of course. Oh, come on. Even with the crit? I can't risk that. I just don't know who goes first. That's the problem. I can't guarantee who goes first. Oh no, it broke. Uh, and one heal sap is going to storage. By the way, uh... Honestly, you're fine. Alright, Navarro, let's try that again. Nine ten, no. He was in like seven something and he got a bad luck. Fine, eight sixty, we'll take it. I have less money than when I did coming into the chapter. Okay. One of our We lucked out. We got a crit. But that was needed. A crit was needed. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm gonna replace some of his stuff, but I still want to buy spares. It, this might be like the last big shopping spree we're going to be doing. So. try. 800? Sure, we'll try it. What do we got? Mage. There we go. just needs one more kill, maybe. If he gets one more kill, it should be enough to uh, level him up. Uh, this is storage. Let's throw the steel in storage for a second. I might replace her current silver. Yeah, we may be replacing stuff, although we have... More thieves. 
Well, Sheeta gets more thieves to fight. That works. I'll take it. All right, Navar. In the arena, you go. Nine ten. Uh, let's go a little lower. Oh, I think I want to be somewhere in the eight hundreds or less. Sixty, we'll take it. All right, what do we got? On Navar, you dodge, good. That helps. We got this. We have this. Perfect. We're even at full health. Level 18, luck and HP. All right. Well, I mean, he's already capped on skill and speed anyway. Let's just hope for the strength. All right. First, I'm gonna dance him so that way he can move. He's fine on the steel. I'm gonna replace his killing edge. silver. I don't, I don't want to spend too much, plus we have a few silver swords. I can grab them out of storage. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to attack. I don't want to do that. Steel bows, I wanna swap out. Alright, Sheeta. I'll let you have this. Got a crit? Level 16, skill, weapon level, and defense. And HP. At least she got a little extra defense, I'll take it. She needs strength, though. My god, she's weak. But, so I'm not gonna have her go in the arena. She's level 16, that's pretty good. We'll try to feed her some EXP. Okay, he's left. So when it comes to training, we got Brody. Seal. Let's try to get Rody to level 16. 880. I almost want to try to go lower. So far, 880 is my best. Can we get the 760? That's like an easy fight. Fine, we'll do 840. We'll do 840. What do we got? Okay, I 
I take 12. I think I, I think Rody could take two hits. I think he has 25. He gets a crit. That works. Perfect. It's the mage. Yeah, go ahead, use Thoron. I don't care. Get out of here. Okay. Um. So maybe one kill. Maybe. That was the end of the thieves. That was the end of the thieves. We'll let Sheeta have her. Uh, we're not going to have her go in the arena. Okay, Rody, let's see what you can do. 890? I'm not sure. Let's try to go lower. Again, eight and again with the eight ninety. Again with the eight ninety. Wow, three in a row. They really want me to go with the eight ninety. No, that's even worse. Fine, we'll go eight ninety. Jeez. Really wants me to fight in the eight ninety. Oh no. That's not good. No, I can't. I can't beat the thief. He doubles me. I can't do it. sell both the iron and the steel because they're both pretty low. I am going to buy a replacement for each. Okay. And I'm going to buy one more set for storage. I don't remember how much I have. There we go. I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. Oh, I should have bought more stuff. Uh, uh, okay, I want Katria to go grab her steel sword back. I think I'm gonna buy one steel sword just to have an extra one in storage. Warren, I 
I want you to go ahead and store the iron sword. Go ahead and grab yourself a silver bow. There we go. And that'll work out fine. I'm gonna go ahead and let Katria buy a one steel. Well, I wanted to buy a steel sword just to have in storage, but I think we're gonna replace her silver. Rody, we still need you to go back in. do it. I can't do it. Yeah. If I could guarantee if I was going first, I would have. But I can't guarantee that. Brody, you just need like one more win. Well, let's try that again. No, I don't want that. Do I need to swap in Cecile or something? 840? Fine, we'll try it. We'll try 840. I know that's what I just tried to do. Okay. 12 damage. I can take two hits. And I dodged. Good. We got this. I got this. Come on, Rody. Get your kill. There we go. Level 16. Skill, luck, and HP. You couldn't have gotten attack or defense? Alright. Rody is level 16. I think he's done with the arena for this chapter. We'll try to give him EXP further on. So right now... I'm gonna have... Uh, Rody replaces Steel Lance. Just replace it. And we may buy one. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a spare to go in storage. She is going to need to go to the shop. We are going to replace your current silver. Silver? Buy one silver. That's a lot of money I just spent. Cecile, I'm going to try to get her to level 16. Uh, can't have high bets like that. 770, we'll take it. That's a, It's probably the mage. Come on, please let it be the mage. Yes, it is. Good. There was a 4% chance to crit. I was very worried. I was very worried about that. Seal her up. Let's dance. Two levels. Eight 
30. Maybe. I want to try to get below 700 again. Fine, we'll, we'll do 830. That's pretty low. Staying in. She has no HP. Alright. Well, gotta make sure someone's keep heading back. Alright. You are currently done. I'm gonna keep you nearby though, just in case I need to buy more stuff. Brody is currently fine. We don't need to do anything. We can just head back. Okay. Sheeta. I think we just need to replace your steel. first and now die. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just thought of something. First of all, let's buy the steel. And then we'll buy the steel sword. There we go. In case she has to dismount. She is done. I need a really low bet. At this point, I'm just kind of hoping to get her to level 15. 8.30? I don't know. She's already struggling as it is with because she has low HP. Seven seventy, we'll take it. about that crit chance at four percent. Okay, one KO and we get her to level fifteen. Let's see what that you know what? Uh, if we level up and we don't get a luck boost, I may just move on. That will help with avoiding crits. We may buy one more heal stat. I'm just gonna move some of my other units around. done, so you can move out of the way. Alright. Let's try again. 810. I'm so worried. Can we get a 770 or something? I want to fight the mage again. So far, 810 was the lowest. Fine, we'll do the 810. She may lose 
this. Or I may have to back out. Okay. Uh, I can only take one hit. Uh, no, I can't- I can't bet on this! Like, I would have to go first, and I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't know. It would have been a win, but there was no way I was gonna give her the... If she went first, sure, but... It's all good, Hot Corn Dog. You, you're just missing arena grinding. That's all you're missing. Which I'm probably gonna wrap up here once Cecile gets maybe one more level. Oh my god, I need to... Fine, we'll give it a try. But I think she needs to get in the 700s. Okay, it's like 14 damage. She can only take one hit. Of course. Thank you, Cecile, for the crit. Level 15, skill. Weapon level, HP. Okay. We didn't get a luck boost, meaning... That was just a bad level up. Okay, we're not... We're gonna move on. I'm gonna have her buy... Actually, I don't think she needs to buy anything. Alright. Let's work on the boss. Marth, can you do anything? I just, it's a double-edged sword since, yeah, you're protected, but you're sta you use stamina to attack and block attacks, so if your stamina runs out, you stagger, which you it. So while you're trying to hold the shield up and poke him with your sword, you're just using up a lot of... You're using up a lot of stamina. Fine. I only deal 10 damage. Lind? I think I'll let Lind have this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... How much damage will the Armor Slayer do? 37? Yeah. I think I'll just let, it ha let Lind have it. I mean, Tiki could do it, but... Yeah. Also, this guy has a silver lance. He can't attack from range. Attack of 29. I could deal 10 damage. Maybe I could weaken them. With the talismans, there's one that massively decreases the stamina used to block and other ones to increase stamina recovery. Yeah, oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Just heavily reduce the amount of uh, the stamina usage. Hell, even gain some. Okay. Attack of 19. Uh, attack of 16. I double. 32. Yeah, we'll go for it. Rapier uses less stamina. Makes sense. What? Being able to defeat my great army? Are you even human? Lind, I just want you to weaken. That works. Okay. Warren, if you go ahead and use the silver, attack of 29, you can double. Yeah. Take two hits, but he'll do it. Oh! Okay, next turn. War and Mist. That's annoying. Or do I hand it to Nabar? Nah, nah, we'll let Warren have it. We don't need to buy anything. Yeah, we're just gonna... Zero that mark. I mean, mark means stuff, but he only has like four levels anyway from capping. 
He can't promote. There we go. Ah, uh, so close. So close to leveling up. My Arcanean army could be defeated? Alright, uh, I'm gonna turn animation back on. You use a buff that made it so you heal 7 HP per second for 3 minutes. And one that increases defense so you receive less damage. This great rune has it so that if you are damaged, if you are quick enough, you can recover the HP lost by hitting the enemy. Oh, okay. Almost like a comeback mechanic. Alright, well, let's go ahead and end the chapter. That was a fierce battle. Is everyone, is everybody alright? So basically any damage your shield couldn't fully negate magic and miracles. You heal just by poking. Sounds pretty... Sounds like a cheese strap. Definitely does. Don't worry. They have been awaiting this day for a long time. Arcanea's actions were too cold-hearted. They even have innocent civilians killed. How can I apologize to, to the citizens? I only bring trouble to everybody. Perhaps I'm not fit to protect this country. No, Your Highness. You're wrong. Your Highness, you have a gentle heart. So that is why no matter what hardships, we can endure them. Oh, I... So that is why we will follow you. Your Highness, please please raise your spirit. We still haven't reclaimed Altia Castle. There are probably many enemies awaiting us. But this is our castle. We already know how to fight. We already know how to fight this battle. Well, Mar Lord Marth, let's go. Guess I can make a save. Only downside is the second phase. A grab move that does no damage. It grabs you twice, your heart gets stolen, you're forced to respond to the power. So while I'm here, I want to know what that other item was. Oh, you can talk to him with Mark. Wait. Uh... Okay, yeah, I thought so. Okay, so you get charmed. You can respond. You can't fully mind control it. So, what you're saying is, if he grabs you twice, it's an instant kill. Or the second time he grabs you, it's an instant kill. Apparently, I could have talked to Abel with Marth, but I thought he wouldn't join me unless S was safe. But that's what they said. Uh, I just want to check what the item was. The right village contains an energy drop. The left one contains a Draco shield. Energy drop. Hmm. Abel good? Well, he's a paladin. He's a paladin. We got him. I, but he's a pre-promote, so I don't know how good he is in comparison to just like if I actually promote Rhodey or Cecile. Um. Yeah, it looks like that. The, there's not much else to this chapter. It was really just: Do you want the defense boost or the energy drop? General in the jail with S will not attack unless the door is unlocked or Abel is recruited. Oh, okay. I see how it is. So, at the beginning, the boss is like, Abel won't join because we have a hostage. So, I thought you needed to have S talk to Abel, and that was the only way. But it turns out you can talk to Abel with Marth. If you do that, the general will start attacking S. So. Okay, interesting. Abel will attack anyone except Est. Unless you're playing FE3. 
then Abel will attack her too if she's mounted past turn one. That's hilarious. I don't know how that's supposed to- Oh, rescue! You could rescue staff her! I didn't think about that. That's hilarious. Okay. Well, let, let me go through the achievements that we got very quick. We got a few. Let's see. Let me scroll up. Okay, so let's get back to the story stuff. So we got... We beat chapter 14. We beat chapter 15. Did get grabbed once. And it puts a debuff on you, so you do less damage, but your rapier does bleed damage. It bleed doesn't care. Yeah, it's a status effect. So yeah, beat chapter 14 and 15. Uh, when it comes to recruitment... No, that's book one, best. Uh, is there anything? Recruit Abel. Recruit Abel. Um, other than that... We promoted a knight to a general. And we promoted an archer to a sniper. Other than... Oh wait, we also got to find the secret shop in chapter 14. We did get that. Sadly, we would have ha all the promotion ones. We actually would have them all. If I... Apparently you needed to, uh... You know... Not be dismounted when you promote. Anyway. But that... We're gonna call it here. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There's a link to the about page. Okay, was a bad dude at the end of the day. Is my character any better? I don't know. Not my problem. I'm just here to beat the final boss. Exactly! You're just here for the challenge. But yeah, next time, we'll move on to chapter 16. Yeah, and you have a good day. You have a good rest of your day. We'll move on to chapter 16. Hopefully, we can get our, the rest of our units promoted within the next who knows how many chapters. If I, if I wasn't messing with the arena... <coughs> sorry. If I wasn't messing with the arena, I probably would have tried 16 today. Anyway, have a good day.